Hi, my name is Emily and I work for Reda Bon in Svenia. Here are some tips for all of us who may be worried about the coronavirus. Remember, feeling anxious is normal. It is not strange at all to feel anxious or scared when something serious happens that many adults are talking about. Perhaps you don't know too much about what is actually happening or you have seen some news or information online. You may even know someone who has become ill with the coronavirus. It is important to remember that the coronavirus has become such big news because it is new and unusual. This also means that there are many adults who are working very hard to solve the problems that arise. Two, talk to an adult. When unusual things happen, children often have thoughts about them. Understanding what is happening around can be difficult and tri tricky to figure out alone. Talk to a calm adult that you know who is good at listening to you. It could be a parent, a teacher, or a relative. Ask them all your questions and tell them what you feel and what you think. Three, don't believe all the rumors. It's good to remember that when serious things have happened, many rumors start spreading. As such, you shouldn't believe in everything you hear or read about online. And be careful what you write and share on social media. Do ask an ad adult who can help you find out what is true and what is not. Do not forget that you can decide how much information you receive. It's okay to leave or ask others to stop if they're talking about the coronavirus in a way that makes you feel worried or scared. It is certainly okay for you to choose not to watch the news about the coronavirus on the TV or the internet. Here is what you can do. The Swedish Public Health Authority provides advice on what we should do to reduce the risk of spreading the virus as best we can. Most people who become infected will become mildly ill. But there are some people who become seriously ill and in some cases even die. They belong to the so-called risk groups. They are often the elderly or people who have existing illnesses. To help protect this group who are more sensitive to the virus, here are some important tips to remember. Do not visit people who are elderly and sick. You can get in touch over the phone instead. Wash your hands more often than usual and always use soap and water. Count to 30 while scrubbing your hands. If you do not have water and soap right then, you can use hand sanitizers. When coughing and sneezing, do so in a tissue and dispose of it right away or in the fold of your elbow. Remember, don't sneeze in your hands or cough in your hands directly. When you are feeling unwell, stay at home until you are perfectly healthy again. And finally, do activities that you like which keep you calm. If you're feeling worried, it's a good idea to keep doing your regular activities and routine that help keep you calm and happy. Sometimes that can mean talking to friends or listening to music watching movies or playing games. It's always a good idea to keep active and keep in contact with people who make you feel good. Discuss with an adult to figure out which activities might work well for you right now.